If only we could look through the window. All right, welcome back. You are watching Laughing Museums, and if that's your first time, my name is Cedric, and welcome on my channel. We're here to laugh in museums, and I have to say, I'm talking about only one single painting uh, today by Elfworth Kelly, the pure New Yorker who passed uh, in 2015, and um, I saw his work just a few weeks ago. I've seen it in the Modern Art Museum in Paris, uh, a few years back, but it was just really, really fresh in my mind, and you can tell by my face when I saw that uh, window that my mind was about to explode because it was really a long, long time I wanted to see that painting again, and I was thrilled more than I can imagine. So let's just say a word about that work. Elsworth Kelly is um, a New Yorker, that's probably why the guy is really dear to me, but also because he lived in Paris for some time. He declared somewhere in an interview that during his time in Paris he was just here and he was mostly speaking, uh, spitting out some Picasso's work again and he said, and that's the thing that's the genius of the guy, he said, I'm not here to do uh, uh, again what I've been done before, right? And then he, he went to the Museum of Modern Art in Paris, which has been made um, in 19-0 for a uh, uh, this big worldwide exhibit in Paris was supposed to glorify the Eiffel Tower 11 uh, years later, it was, it was built in uh, 1889, and he went to that exhibit in the Museum of Modern Art Paris, and he didn't really like it per se, but he really enjoyed the outside of the building, and especially the massive windows uh, that are around 15 feet. I'm actually quoting an interview by Elfworth Kelly that I just so I invite you to uh, take a look at the guy speaking. He's like, wow, mind-blowing. Especially that interview of 2014 in his studio. It's very, very moving uh, to, to have an artist speaking at the end of his uh, life. Maybe I'm talking about the window because I'm, I'm, I'm working on Matisse right now, but also because that Museum of Modern Art is really dear to me. When you're a Parisian, you spend your time at the... Uh, uh, um, Palais de Tokyo, the Tokyo Palace in Paris, which is famous for having a nightlife, crazy exhibits and opening and uh, crazy uh, contemporary art shows, you know, burning tires, stuff like that. So, and um, uh, the place is also super, super alive because uh, kids are still skating here uh, almost every single day. And uh, the skating spot is so famous worldwide. Even Larry Clark uh, did a movie around it, The Smell. Of us. I had a friend, uh, uh, Valerie, playing in it, so that's why I really love that movie. I love Larry Crack's works anyway, and the fact that it was shot inside that uh, those famous windows that really impress uh, Hellsworth Kelly make it even better, right? I love that museum, by the way, for another uh, uh, reason, the Museum of Modern Art, is because you can look at uh, people like Sonia Delaunay in it, you know, and the Delaunay's a uh, couple of painters who made a version of the Eiffel Tower and through the window you can see the Eiffel Tower. So you can actually see the painting of the Eiffel Tower and then you can see the actual uh, monument by Gustave Eiffel. I should do something about the Eiffel Tower one day. Um, and um, what really interests me is like I, I, I probably would have never seen those windows per se without the work of Healthworth Kelly. And now that I've seen his work, I'm struck how amazing it is. So my point by saying that like Healthworth Kelly was really to um, like everyone else, I say, and that's the problem. You know, my words are missing right now because when you talk about modern art, when you talk about any kind of avant-garde, especially in the abstract domain, then you have to put big words on everything. This morning, again, I was reading a book on Matisse saying that Matisse is telling you how to see without thing and to see what you can't see through the eyes that is actually not an eye, but actually a hand, which is a quote by Manet. I mean, this is all too much for me. Maybe I'm not smart enough to understand those books and I get that, but I'm like, honestly, to me, it's not helping. We call it art literature. Sometimes it's well done, sometimes it's just, just too much. I'm like, 
like, I don't know, this guy, Bob Matisse, who was saying, like, Matisse, like, Jesus uh, died for three days so he can be born again, and just, like, come on, but, like, Matisse never died, he was painting, he was making research, and yes, there is something about faith, there is something about believing in what you do, stuff like that, and something probably that is behind human beings, I get that, but is it really worth it making a 900 pages book on that kind of subject? Maybe, but you can avoid uh, reading that, right? Elfworth Kelly has a really elegant way of showing the world, and that's why looking at painting is so fantastic. You don't have to have a thing to think. You look at it, and it talks to you, or it doesn't, right? Elfworth Kelly say you should spend a lot of time in front of his work, and I'm probably going back to that exhibit very soon to see it again, like I did with a Rothko last time. Like, spending a lot of time in front of abstract art is really, really helping, I think, right? And Elfworth Kelly, I was saying, say, uh, when he was doing his research, uh, was really like looking for something new. I love that um, that uh, study of shades on on staircase right here. When you have the both, we have the luck to have the photography and the painting, which is not one of the super super famous work of Elfworth Kelly as well. Um, I have the luck to go see one every day in the museum around the corner, and I'm like. Wow, and and um, it's really it's really luck to have his work around you. I don't know, make me feel good. I'm really enjoying the the study, the the, the very deep, profound meaning of it, and uh, I, I can't live without abstract art. So thank you, Healthworth Gilly. There was a brief introduction about that uh, thing. Oh yeah, one last thing I wanted to say: the the um, the painting is called the Window Museum of Modern Art, Paris, in the 1960s, if I'm right. Um, and uh, what, what interests me, like, when he made it, he said, I didn't want people to know what he was taken from, okay? Because uh, he was afraid, okay, so there's a guy who's just copying nature, another big subject of uh, art literature. And I think he got a point, like, not saying, you know, if he hadn't said that, I would have probably never found the link between those two, right? And the fact that Painters need to get um, inspiration for somewhere is interesting, but sometimes you just don't need to know. And uh, so thank you for revealing your trick, uh, Mr. Magician Elthworth Kelly. Rest in peace, and your work will be here for uh, ever. I'm pretty sure about that. Thank you so much for watching uh, Laughing Museums. Never forget you can support the channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, and uh, getting yourself a book of Love Your Way through the Louvre. My new book on painting is uh, coming uh, probably in 2022. And um, well, no matter what you do, if you're not doing it with a smile, well, you're doing it wrong.